Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Another data quiz here. Um, how do you get percentage sales per region? And well, this isn't clickbait. So what you're going to learn is how to use total, but ignore a particular dimension. So let's just have a look here. We have date, we have customers and we have regions. We have three different dimensions here. And then we have our sum of sales. What we want to do is find the percentage of sales only per region. So that is, if you have for each customer, you want to know what was the sales for that customer compared to the total sales for that region. So how would you do that and ignore, in this case, ignore the date and find the total for all of the dates for that particular region. So um, we look into that by looking into how to use um, total and how to use total and ignore a dimension. So if you want to learn how to do that, stick around. So let's have a, a brief little background. Now, sum of sales is going to sum it up for based on the dimension. So if a date is different or a customer is different, then the sum of sales would be different for each of the rows. Now, what if we try to do an aggregate instead. So let's say aggregate sum of sales. And let's say we want to aggregate this based on region. What does that give us? Well, when we do that, it actually sums it up for every region. But this particular number is not duplicated for each of the rows. So if I want to find the percentage, so this actually gives us, so now it's thousand, right? So that is the total sales for that region. But unfortunately, it doesn't really show thousand for each of the rows where the region is Sweden in this case, or 1600 where the region is Germany. So if I want to find the percentage, I can't do that, right? So let's try to do percentage. Let's say, sum of sales divided by aggregate sum of sales and aggregated by region and you don't really get it for each of the rows so what do we how can we solve this well we could try another one called total so in this case sum of total sales is what I'm interested in. So I say apply. So what total does is it ignores the dimension here. But in case you select anything in your filters, then it takes that into consideration. So selections are considered, but the dimension is ignored. And in this case, it ignores also all the dimensions. And we don't want that because we want the sum of sales only per the total of that region and not the total for all regions, right? So how do we do that again? Actually tell total to only find the total for one particular dimension. That is by putting total inside a bracket. For example, now if I write sum of I want total sales, but not for all regions. I want total of the region and sales. So in this case, I'm saying sum the total and I want to do the total for the dimension region. So for every region, all the different values, it's going to sum it up and give me the sales and it's going to ignore the rest of the dimension. So the only dimension that I'm actually considering is the one inside the two angled brackets. So this is how you make total consider a particular field. So now I say, okay. And in this case, now if you see, we get the same with the aggregate where aggregate was thousand and over here it's 1600, but in total by taking in the region, it's just multiplied it to, or uh, it's duplicated it for each and every row, depending on our dimension region. Great, so this is how what we can actually use to get our sales percentage, right? So one final step here. So to find the sales percentage, we say sum of sales because the sales is per um, those two dimensions, that is the date and the customer. And we wanted to sum it up for that. And 
then we say divided by sum of total sales but do the total only for the dimension region and then ignore all other dimensions so i'm going to put region in the bracket inside angle brackets and then i'm going to apply and now we get the column that we want that is we get the percentage sales for each customer per region now let's just go into number formatting make it number and then change this into a percentage and that's what we get so maybe you have a different way of doing it please write down below hope this was helpful please leave a like see you in the next one cheers